What's really special about being in the Vale Valley is all the wonderful musical performers that we get cruising through each and every year. And this morning, I am very happy to welcome a really unique performer, Hayden Haddock, into the studio. And how are you doing this morning, Hayden? I'm doing pretty well. It was an early morning, but I'm here. Yeah, man, it's a little, it's a little rough getting up this early, but uh, it's worth it. It's worth it to show it is, all of our sure. viewers just you've got such an interesting story. You know, I was fascinated just out there in our waiting room chatting with you. Um, so tell us a little bit about how this all started because it's been pretty recent. Yeah, so um, actually about a year ago, around this time of the month, um, I was actually, I go to school at Texas A&M in College Station, Texas. And uh, I was just in my living room practicing the guitar one day. I learned to play the guitar when I was 14 and uh, never played in front of anybody, not even my family. And I was just kind of in my living room, just kind of strumming away, singing a little bit. And uh, there was a knock on my front door. And it was this young lady who was our neighbor. And she said she had heard me from down the hallway singing. And so, of course, she's like, will you sing me a song? And I was like, nope, that is not happening. <laughs> told her the same thing I told my family and friends forever. And uh, basically, then my roommate came barging out of his room. You know, that was his chance to embarrass me. Yeah. And uh, so, basically, they ended up talking me into it. So I sang her a song, and that was the most nervous I've ever been for anything in my life. I can, when I think about it, I can feel all the blood rushing to my face, how yeah. I felt in that moment. But uh, yeah, without me knowing it, my roommate went and uh, recorded me singing, and he put it out on social media and YouTube and all that, and then things just kind of took off from there, and now I'm doing this kind of stuff, so yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, touring kind of around <laughs> the world, like around the country with some pretty famous acts now. Yeah, yep, it's been very cool. Yeah, I've gotten to... Uh, Let's see, within three months of that happening, I got to open for Casey Donahue Band. If there's any Texas country fans out there, you know who he is. Um, and then the old country band, Asleep at the Wheel, which they're like, they're either eight or nine, nine time Grammy award winning band or whatever. That's pretty big, um, man. Yeah, and then now there's a guy named Jake Worthington, which y'all may know, he was on The Voice a couple years ago and he was the runner up. So okay. even if you don't listen to Texas Country, if you watch The Voice, you might know him. You but saw him. Yeah, I'm actually getting to open for him on the 29th, the day after I leave here okay so, yeah and you you kind of just had a surprise release of your first album first rodeo so you kind of thought it was going to be one week but then they dropped it a week early right yeah so we had uh in the process of releasing my album we had a few delays here and there just with trying to get stuff you know finished up and whatnot and i mean it happens sometimes everything's not perfect and so we kept having to tell people you know like oh well it's actually going to be this date no it'll be this date and so uh Anyways, we were sitting in Las Vegas last week. I was performing there, and uh, we were just sitting at dinner one night, and we were having a good time, and my dad was like, hey, why don't you get on iTunes and just see if your stuff got up there yet? Because there's actually a – they get iTunes gives you a 5- to 20-day window of how long it'll take because they have to approve everything. Yeah. So big window. So we had no clue when it was actually going to come out, and I was like, ah, it was like the second day, and I was like, there's no way it's going to be on there. And so I looked my name up, and sure enough, there it was. So then we're sitting at dinner, and – Everybody's jumping on trying to do all the promotional stuff and like, you know, go download it. But it ended up being good. And like I said, we were over at the rodeo in Las Vegas and the album's called First Rodeo. So yeah. it worked out. It looked like we did it on purpose. Very appropriate <laughs> for the first album. I like yep. that. And we're going to be giving our viewers a nice preview of what your music's like in just a few minutes here. But if they want to catch a little bit of a longer extended performance, I know tomorrow night, and then next Friday at the Park Hyatt in Beaver Creek, you'll be playing. Yeah, it's actually today at the Park Hyatt. Oh, it's today. And Holy then days. next Friday. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. No, today at 3 to 6 p.m. and then next Friday, 3 to 6 p.m. Perfect. Yep. Hayden, well, yep. thank you so much for that info. I'm excited to get you guys set up, get the songs going here. But, yeah, tonight at the Park Hyatt, next Friday at the Park Hyatt, if you fall in love with his music, like I'm sure you will, make sure to head up there and catch him. But coming up next, we've got more Mark and Ashley on TV8's Good Morning Vale.